Good day everyone. So now we are here for our sample problem number 4. So we will be solving another problem involving tension members, bolted and riveted connections. So let's now jump into our problem. A single lap connection 200 mm by 10 mm steel plate is connected to a 15 mm thick steel plate by 4 16 mm diameter rivets as shown in the figure below. The rivets used are A502 grade 2 hot driven rivets with allowable shear stress of 152 MPa. The steel is ASTM 836 with F of F sub Y which is 248 megapascal and the ultimate tensile strength of 400 megapascal. Determine the value of P in all possible modes of failure and the safe value of P that the connection can resist. So as we can see here in our figure, it is a attention member uh, who is subjected to a tensile force P which is Ang thickness niya is about 10 mm steel plate. Ay mo kalibog ha? Between 10 mm steel plate and this 15 mm thick steel plate. Because this 15 mm thick steel plate refers to the gasset plate. This plate here. O, kanin siya. Mone siya nga plate din niya. Kung asa gikonek ang ato ang tension member. So, yes. We need to um, list all the possible um, values not given sa ato ang um, figure so like this 10 millimeters thick thickness um, we also have this shear stress na 152 and we also have this 248 na f sub y and 400 megapascal na f sub u so pa na ipang take to mga sila at ang first step karun is since it is stated that it uses a hot drive rivets na raman tong hot drive giingon di ba para hot driven rivets therefore use case 1 katong mag add lang kaog 1.6 sa um, diameter sa rivet so na 16 man giingon 16 plus 1.6 na kay 17.6 which is your diameter of the hole na okay gipang list na nato sila ha for gross sectional yielding so Mag-solve na taog, um, tensile force P for our first mode of failure which is the yielding or gross sectional yielding. So, 0.60 F of Y times A sub G or ito ang um, gross sectional yielding na itong una kuha. So, it's just 200 times 10. We have 2,000 square millimeters. And substituting it to the formula, we can get 297.60. Okay? And for our tensile rupture stress or the fracture, maderi na siya nga part, deri. Or pwede po siya, yes, deri, deri mo consideration na. So, ang ato formula is 0 0.50 times F sub U times A sub N. So, solving first for the net area. So, eh, natay 200 minus pila ka bolt or rivet natay duha times 17.6 times thickness in a 10 natay 1648 square millimeters and yes, again kailangan nato na siya i-test katong condition so, katong condition diba 16 1648 must be less than or equal to 0.85 times 2,000 gato 0.85 A sub G kani so pila kaya so na kaya 1,648 is less than or equal to 1,700 so therefore um this is okay kaya mas gamay man dyan siya kisa sa 1,700 and substituting 0 0.50 times 400 times 1,648 times 1 times 10 power of negative 3 so we can get 329.60 kN so that is our value for our tensile load P for tensile rupture stress now for block shear for the first path so sa kaya of the first path yung ano siya okay this is 100 
is 100 and he considered that it is 135 kani 135 na okay so ana ra siya so for our first path we need to get the first a sub t or atong area sa tension na side kani di ba tong area sa tension kani so it's just 100 na ra 100 minus 1 ay 0.5.5 so mong 1 times 17.6 times 10 nga thickness na kay 824 square millimeters and for our area sa shear nga side which is which is nara kani dire so 135 minus 1.5 y minus 1.5 because this is 1 Okay, kani is 1 na ni siya 1 katunga da yun 0.5 so 1.5 times 17.6 times 10 ok 10 is your thickness and y2 2 because 2 haman siya ka side for your um, shear ok mong natuso na kay um, 2172 square millimeters and substituting it to, to this formula kani nga formula Nara, 0.50 times 400 times 824 kani plus 0.30 times 400 times 2172 kani over 1 times 10 to of 3 na kay 425.44 kilonewtons kani so for our block shear path number 2 ang ato ang second nga path is inani so same Atong area sa tension is kani kani atong tension nga side so it's just 150 kanina 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 nga distance here kani it's just 100 plus 50 150 minus 1.5 why why 1.5 it's because kani 1 katunga din ani 0.5 1.5 times 17.6 times the thickness which is a 10 mga kuha din ka na value nga 1,2,3,6 square millimeters and for our area in our shear side kani it's just 135 minus 1.5 y minus y 1.5 because na kay 1 tapos katunga na yun 0.5 so na kay 1.5 then 17.6 times 10 yung thickness again and isa raman na siya di ba ka side so therefore times 1 na ni you will get 1,086 square millimeters and substituting it to our formula for black shear okay, naara siya, ipang substitute lang 1, 2, 3, 6 10,086 we can get 377.82 now comparing it to the first one isa raman ka dapat ka value for our isa raman dapat ka p value for our load a tensile load ang mag for black shear so for here we should um choose the smaller one. So can say mas gamay. So can he. So for our block shear, this one governs 377.52. Now for our bearing stress between our plate and the rivet. So not the 1.2 F sub U times A sub B. So solving for A sub B. So di ba na 16. Kani atong we consider na rivet. Kani. Natay 16 times 10, mga to ang diameter. We consider it as our base. So, base times height lang, 16 times 10, times pila sila kabuok. 4 sila kabuok. 4 times 4. So, we can get 640 square millimeters. And substituting na, we can get 307.20. So, that's our load tensile P for bearing stress between plates and the rivet now for the shearing stress in rivets so we can use using this formula f sub v times a sub b so a sub b refers to the um, area of the rivets alone so using pi over 4 times 16 squared times 4 so kanin 16 is ang original yun nga bolt nga rivet diameter dili tong 17 point Six, okay. And substituting 152 times 804.248, we can get 122.25. So that's our um, load tensile P in terms of shearing stress and rivets. 
Now, in summary, monitor na ng mga values. Di ba sa problem, giingon ang um, safe tensile load capacity that the connection can resist. So, for, from here, we need to pick the lowest value. Katong pinakagamay. Ah, may pinakagamay ani. Eh, eh, eh. Kani. Diba? Kani may pinakagamay. O, oh, nara siya. Therefore, 122.25 kN is the safe value of P that the connection can resist. So, mauni siya. So, nag-govern ang that sa shearing stress in bolts. So, I hope that na may nasabdan. Thank you everyone and see you sa ato ang problem number 5.